Six Secret Tricks to Producing Powerful Podcast Content Podcasts aren't created equal. There are great podcasts and there are meh podcasts. Which one do you want to listen to every chance you get? Not the meh podcast, I'm sure. So, if you want your audience to stick around, then stay tuned to this presentation. Today, I'm going to share with you six secret tricks to producing powerful content for your podcast. Number one, answer people's questions. People listen to your podcast because you promised to provide something of value to them. Or were you able to answer their all-important question, what's in it for me? If you want your listeners to keep on tuning into your upcoming episodes, then you need to find a way to keep on answering that question. Find out what they want to know and discover their pain points. Then talk about it on your podcast. Number two, show people how to do things the right way. People love how-to tutorials. If you've got a podcast on making money online, then discuss specific methods and techniques to help people start earning money. Demonstrate your expertise by sharing the methods that worked for you. Of course, you don't necessarily need to give out all your secrets, but at least give them an overview to show them how to do things the right way. Number three, be original and authentic. Many people listen to podcasts because they like the host personality. If you sound like you're having fun and enjoying your show, then it's much easier for your listeners to hit that subscribe button. Number four, plan your podcast content in advance. When you plan in advance, then you can basically tell your listeners what your next show is going to be all about. You can give them a quick background on your next topic to have them look forward to your next episode. Number five, tell a story. Make your podcast engaging by sharing your personal stories or those of people you know. People may not remember specific methods and techniques, but they will most likely remember your stories. Number six, add a call to action. Yes, your podcast needs to have a call to action as well. What do you want your listeners to do after listening to your show? Do you want them to subscribe to your email list? Do you want them to sign up for your online course? Don't leave your audience hanging. Make sure there's a call to action for each of your podcast episodes.